have never seen this many people out on this trail. Uh, it must be like some uh, mid-April meetup or something along those lines. I don't think it's like Easter, you know, Jeep Safari. I know they have like an event like that out here, but it's, you know, a week past uh, Easter right now. So I don't think it's that, but man, there are a lot of people out here on the trail. But anyway, we're gonna go back here to this uranium mine now and uh, look a little closer. You guys just getting it down there. We look a little closer uh, at this mine, spend a little more time in there. And yeah, it should be fun. So look at this, uh, there's a left and a right. It looks like this one is more like just a, like a little like area for people to kind of rest because it has a chair in here. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, it's nice smell of a mine. I don't think I'm gonna sit down on this right now because, you know, all this rock looks like <laughs> not the stablest thing in the world. So let's go to the other main portion of the mine. I'm hoping to go a little bit deeper uh, into this mine today and give it a good look around, but nothing too crazy. So right now, down in here, I'm getting around 1300 counts per minute. So that's not bad for a uranium mine. Let's go a little deeper. There's a little pack rat nest back there. This doesn't look like the most stable portion of the mine. And there's another way out over here. Like it ends up there and keeps going over this way. Looks like a piece of machinery here, maybe some type of mucker or something. This looks like the end of this line. That's where we came from. So they started doing a little offshoot up here. And then they stopped. Yeah, not much to this mine. Pretty cool though. This light does get a little warm to the touch, but it is super, super bright. So I can see why, I mean, but it has like varying levels of intensity. Like I can dial it all the way down, all the way up. There's like a spot mode too. Yeah, just trying to show you what it is and what they wanted me to show my audience. All right, I'm gonna pop out the, 
the UV light and see if there's anything fluorescing down here. Yeah, this is the part that would kind of worry me about this area, like right here. Like, see how it's like just crumbling. Yep, who knows how much longer this mine has. faces out back there. Oh, my alarm's going off. Ah, that was just the alarm for the radicote. I have it set not terribly high for the alarm. So, yeah. It's always cool being down in a mine, seeing the cross section of the earth. Yeah, see, there's, there's daylight out that way. It looks like I have like, Maybe this is for electricity, some type of signal, or something, or some other like support for like maybe uh, venting to get like radon gas out of here. Could be it. Yeah, let's look over here. Yeah, not too many workings back in here. Just like this. I mean, this is a decent amount, that's for sure. Some type of mineralization going on right here. Get my Geiger counter, check it out. Yeah, nothing that, uh, nothing that radioactive back here. I see why they stopped mining in this direction. It's just not that, not that hot. So this is going to be around 17,000. like the highest right now is 24,000 CPM so it's not too terribly strong but this is kind of like the uranium that they were after here Let me turn this down a little. this was the only portion of the mine that I've really found any type of fluorescence happening but that's where the vein of uranium goes through the rock here and so a UV light is a good, I was going to say torch, <laughs> UV light is a good way to show that. It's pretty cool though. I always like seeing uranium fluoresce. It's very otherworldly. But that's right by the entrance here. All right, time to head out of the mine. Okay. 
Ooh. All right, well, that was a nice little look inside that mine a little deeper. It was nice having this light. It's so bright that being in like a dark place like that, like that mine, it was really, really helpful. I mean, I did have my headlamp too, but I only use it every once in a while. This light does get a little warm, but it is crazy bright. Anyway, I'll try and uh, leave a link in the description or something like that for a code for a discount. I'm not sure how much, but hopefully it'll be something. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed a look at this mine. Um, I keep calling it the Gemini Bridges Trail Mine because it's right at the beginning of the Gemini Bridges Trail. But I know somebody in the last time I went to this mine commented on the actual name of it. And so maybe I'll have that down in the description. I just can't remember it off the top of my head and I don't have any cell service right now, so can't really look it up. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Maybe uh, head over to Patreon, become a member over there. That'd be fantastic. Super helpful, all of it. Really great to have everyone watching these videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.